Hi, I'm Carolyn Herford with thebiztruth.com and today I want to talk about what you do if you send a contract to somebody or an agreement and they're sitting on it and you're wondering what in the world to do. This was sparked because I've spoken with a couple of clients and entrepreneurs lately who are like, Carolyn, I sent the contract. We agreed. They said yes. They said they were going to move forward and they're not doing anything. So what do I do without sounding like a pain in the ass? So there are two things to keep in mind. First, I want to talk about what you can do to avoid this situation in the future. And then I'm going to talk about some options that you can take right now because you are in that situation. First, what you want to do is you really want to present or prevent this from happening in the future. And so when someone says yes, you have to have very, very clear next steps about what piece of what you're going to do and what they're going to do. So when someone, when you've agreed in verbally, yeah, let's do this, then you say exactly what's going to happen. All right. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send you the agreement. You can expect by expect it by this time tomorrow and then um, ask them. So once you get it, how long will it take for you to turn it around? And then once we get that from you, this is what's going to happen. So you really lay out the next steps and you're really clear on what your commitments and timelines are and they are as well. That way, when they do or if they do, don't stand up to their word, you have a great excuse and a great reason to call them. Oh, wow, we were expecting your agreement. We haven't gotten that yet. And, you know, bam, you've got an, you're, you're back on the phone with them and they're like, oh my gosh, I got lost in the pile up or whatever. I'll get it to you right now. So that really helps that when you can get through that in the beginning. So now here's what to do if you do need to salvage or find out when the world is going on. So first of all, pick up the phone. If you get them on the phone live, just say, Hey, I expected to have the agreement back from you by now. Did something come up? Let's get the ball rolling. What can we do to get the ball rolling? And if you get voicemail, just keep it short. This is Carolyn. Call me back at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be too many digits, but whatever your phone number is, you get the idea, right? So just leave your name and your phone number. That's all you have to do. They know what it's about. You don't have to leave a long explanation or some pleading voicemail. It's your name and your phone number. Bam. Follow up with a brief email after you've left that voicemail. Hey, I was under the impression that we would have started by now. I haven't seen the paperwork from you. So give me a call back or respond to this message. Pretty simple, right? And I'm not a fan of hunting people down or chasing them down. All right. So if you've left a couple of voice messages and a couple of emails and you still have not heard from them, I would recommend that you use Wendy Weiss, who is the queen of cold calling. I would use what she calls her move on message. So this is where you say that you've tried to reach them several times to discuss X. Acknowledge the fact that you assume that they're really busy and you don't want to make a pest of yourself. And so you'll follow up with them in X number of days or weeks. So you might say in two weeks, it might be 30 days. It might be two days, whatever feels true to you. Here's the kicker. This is at the end of the message. You say, but if you've been meaning to get back to me, I'd love to chat with you about what it's going to take for us to move forward and then leave your name and your phone number. That's it. It's that simple. And that usually gets a call back. Obviously the first bit of advice I gave you at the beginning of the video cuts out all of this other unnecessary follow-up, but it's good to have as your backup. So give it a try and let me know how it works out for you.